Leviathan here. I mentioned that we are gonna be doing more than just car videos. So today, we are gonna do three things at the exact same time. One, I need to head north to pick up a pump for my kite, because tomorrow looks like an amazing day for kiteboarding. Two, we're gonna put it in the GPS of the McLaren and see how well the McLaren can actually navigate to a destination. And three, while we go on this cruise, I'm gonna talk about what my training routine is like, because a lot of people have started to ask what I do and do I even lift, bro? Let's plug it into the GPS. I've actually never used the GPS, I typically rely on my phone, but hit nav. Um, let's see how intuitive it is. It is actually my first time using this. Um, select. Oh, nice. I have a very old pump, which is about six years old, so it definitely needs a replacement. The reason I never really talked about my training program before is because everyone has all these different goals. Some people just want to be the strongest or the biggest or the fastest or they just go to the gym to post Instagram pictures and train their thumbs I guess. For me however it's always been about being more athletic and it's also designed to fit my lifestyle. For me, it's become such a habit, such a lifestyle, I don't even think twice about it. And it's obviously not just training, it's everything. It's what I eat, what I do, um, how much rest I get. All of that plays a huge difference. And obviously, there are people who are more qualified to talk about training, so don't take this as something that you must do. It's just really sharing about how I train and what fits my lifestyle. And my routine constantly evolves and gets better as I learn more. I don't just do one thing and stick with it. Throughout, I do like to experiment, and I won't lie, I've made a lot of mistakes. I used to be a chubby kid in school, and I did get picked on. So ever since then, I've always been trying to improve myself. I have made a lot of mistakes when it comes to training. I've been on both ends of the spectrum. On one side, I thought eating extremely careful and extremely little would make me lean and rip, but no, it did not. And I thought overloading myself with calories will turn me into the Hulk. No, it did not either. So I've managed to find a good balance of what works for me. For me, it's a lifestyle, so I look for something which is sustainable. I know there are all these different trends and bro science methodologies out there. I don't like to overcomplicate things. I really like to keep it simple. Given that my routine constantly changed, the one thing that always stays constant is that I train with intensity. That to me is just the golden rule. I know a lot of people just go to the gym and stare at their phones, but to me that does not count. Every set I do, I train actually beyond failure. What does that mean? Well, once I actually reach failure, I find a way to keep continuing on. And that's really a matter of focusing a bit more on the eccentric motion. Again, it depends on the exercise, but it really comes down for me, training beyond failure. And I think training with intensity is what most people lack. When I go to the gym and I observe what others are doing, I see how they look, just not what I'm going for. So I always try and do something different because I do not want to look like everyone else. I do want to feel fitter, I do want to feel healthier, and I definitely want to look a lot better. I really think that's something that a lot of people lack. And of course, training is just one part of it, it's how you live the rest of your life. I live a very strict and disciplined life. I'm very careful when it comes to what I eat. I don't drink alcohol, I do not smoke, and I do not do drugs. It's a matter of keeping everything short and intense. I'm not the person that likes to spend hours at the gym. I like to train hard and get out. The biggest tip I can give you is train with intensity. I treat it as if it's a sport or a skill that I'm trying to progress in. You only get better in a sport if you push yourself hard, if you fail, if you try new things. It's kind of like kiteboarding. If I'm not falling in the water, if I'm not crashing hard, then I'm not really progressing. It's not just a matter of going into the gym and getting a prize for doing it. It's a matter of going into the gym and actually pushing myself hard. That, to me, is what I enjoy. So, we are actually almost there. So, good job. Good job, GPS. So, the message of this story is train with intensity and train differently to everyone else. I finally arrived at my destination and I'm gonna pick up a pump 
for tomorrow's session. So before I sign off, do comment down below with how many times you hit the gym and for how long. Thanks for watching. Until next time.